Hi, my name is Sam from The Boat Show. We're here in beautiful Miami, Florida to show you something new, something from Maratimo, the new M59. And here it is. Now you can see how it's reflected the Australian lifestyle on this boat. It's fully equipped for that kind of layback living. It has a very large couch with a fold out table. Now with the extra wide beam on the M59, which is around about five and a half meters wide, we also have a small tender deck. Now the M59 is also the side decks, one of the main features. Very safe if you do have children or any pets on board. Up on the front, we do also have a position here where you can mount a small crane for any boat that you want to bring on board. There's also a mirror window sanker, plenty of storage space for any chain or rope that you might have extra and your foot controls right here. Now the one thing I love about this Maritimo is the bifolding doors. Opens up the whole entertainment area from the saloon to the cockpit, just with one simple action. Here we go, wide open. Now as we walk through the bifolding doors, the aft galley is right here. There is an island here, great for entertaining. Whether it's you to be on the salon or on the cockpit. The woodwork is a high glass finish and everything is very well located with plenty of space. All the appliance are here and something that you never see on a boat this size is covers like that. The galley is also equipped with a stand-up dishwasher. Just under the internal staircase, we also have an ice maker and a drawer-style fridge and freezer. The saloon is elegantly finished leather couches, the woodwork, even the ceiling. For dining style, we have a leather finished U-shaped couch with a foldable table. Now, not only the couches are very comfortable and luxurious, but they also are functional with storage space underneath all of them. Now as we step down below on the M59, we have three cabins and two en-suites down below. Now down below we have a full beam master bedroom with a small lounge area, a king size bed and also an en-suite. Now there's also plenty of light from port or starboard and for fresh air, just open here. There's also a small study or vanity. The master ensuite is also fully equipped with an enclosed shower, a hatch up the top for any light and fresh air. In the front VIP stateroom, we also have plenty of fresh air and light from port and starboard and the two opening hatches on the top. It has a queen-size island bed with drawer storage underneath. Now the VIP stateroom has its own entry, but there's also a secondary door right here. Also with a fully enclosed glass shower. Now in the third cabin we have two single beds that also can be joined together to form another queen size. Now for added safety, there's also an internal staircase that leads up to the fry bridge. The high gloss, the polished wood and the inserts on the steps just shows the quality of workmanship that goes into this boat. 
As we come up to the top of the fry bridge, we notice that the luxury on this boat has no end. Now the first thing that we notice on the flybridge is how much natural light that we actually have. It's 360 degrees and it also comes through from a sunroof. For when you're on your way, you can have all your guests in the flybridge. There's a quite comfortable L-shaped couch right here. It has a foldable out table, a small wet bar, a sink, a nice maker and there's also a TV screen for any entertainment. Now at the helm the first thing that comes to our attention is how much space there is for electronics. There's already fitted two 22 inch screens right here. We have a companion seating as well. From the helm chair move so forward, we have an excellent view when we're on our way of the bow and also onto the starboard side if we need to do any docking. All the controls are just right here. The two big 22 inch screens gives us excellent visibility even if we sit back. Now as we step out from the flybridge, we have our own sun deck with a fully equipped couch that will sit up to eight people. Now we just finished viewing the new M59. All the craftsmanship, the workmanship of the woodwork, the leather, the performance of the engines, the long distance tanks, and all these extra features just makes it a wonderful cruising yacht. If you are on the market looking for a cruising yacht, you should check out the M59.